Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer out in the Philippines in the boondocks. Listen to the dogs. And that's how everybody's barking out there with the Moon Channel getting out of the kitchen because they didn't want any of that smoke. That's right. The Carl Jobs army went out there <laughs> and chin checked his ass. And uh, he didn't know that they had a lot of uh, shared audience. And, uh, well, he doesn't want any of that smoke, right? He doesn't want to upset his own people. <laughs> At least that's what you get from reading his community post. You guys can go check it out. I'll link it down below. He also said he spoke to Jobst. Kind of smooth things out. But there's a couple of things here, guys, that, that we really need to go over. Because he really gave Gerard here the keys to the castle as far as, you know, just giving it to Carl uh, and Mudahar, right? Now, first of all, let me say I'm not a lawyer. Right. And neither is most of us out here. Right. Maybe one or two lawyers out there and you guys can give your legal opinion. Right. But this guy's legal opinion is that one of the claims that these two guys made. Right. And very strongly is that this guy committed embezzlement. Right. However, they phrased it, however, you're interpreting it. It doesn't matter. This is a lawyer saying that this is one of the issues that they they accused him of. This is one of the, the allegations, and it's simply not going to hold up in court in his point of view, right? This is very important, guys, because what do lawyers always do, right? They always get you in for a free consultation. And what do legal professionals tell you in their advertising? Get another opinion, right? Get another opinion, get a second opinion. Well, here you have a free opinion from this lawyer, right? Because this lawyer basically gave the opinion that these guys had done some sloppy, sloppy research and, um, you know, didn't do their job. They, do, they do, didn't do their job when it came to doing the proper research on the allegation that this guy had committed embezzlement. And what does that tell you, right? That tells you that, you know, if they choose to, right? If they choose to, again, this is not my opinion this is the opinion of a lawyer right if they choose to go after these guys for that then you know at least he's got one opinion that agrees with him on that contention based on the video that he put out now this guy broke down the video and you know pointed out a couple of legal terms that gerard that gerard used number one he also pointed a couple of defenses that he mentioned to make sure that, you know, he was out of the water in a couple of the allegations that these guys were accusing him of. Now, what does this do, right? Basically, it gives you a preview on how Gerard would go about, uh, you know, trying to go after these guys. Because if he goes after them, not for everything, right? Just imagine this. He goes after him, not for everything, just for that one allegation, for the one that this guy says to, is still to this day, right? Because he, he's, he's standing on that hill. He's saying this one's not going to hold, right? The other ones might be more plausible because even according to him, he hadn't even listened to the audio uh, before making his video, right? The audio of the Discord phone call. He hadn't listened to it. And even after he listened to it, he didn't think it would make much of a difference when it came to the allegation of embezzlement, right? So, you know, one down, <laughs> Gerard's looking at him like, don't run away, you coward. <laughs> You're on my team. <laughs> but if they share audiences, you know, <laughs> I don't think this guy's coming back. He made it pretty clear he doesn't want any of this smoke, but the damage is done here. The damage is done. And guys, you know, it's just like anything else. I mean, you don't have to agree 100% with me or with this guy, with anybody. I think the, the fun of this whole these whole debates is actually having a couple of different opposing views and going back and forth. And now that this guy's gone, right, that this guy's left the scene, you have no other lawyer on the other side because all the other lawyers... We're saying, oh, you know, this is X, Y, or Z. This is a, you know, plausible, whatever. 
And here you have the, this one lawyer that said, nah, man, this is this not going to fly, right? And if there's a silver bullet that they, that Gerard could use, it's this one, right? Because if, if you think about it, right, and uh, let's look at hypotheticals here. Let's say it was you, right? Let's say it was you, and you're standing on, on the other side of somebody uh, suing you for defamation, right? And what they're telling you is all they want, okay? They don't even want money. They don't want you to pay for their lawyers. They don't want to even go to court. All they want you to do is do a retraction and an apology, okay? That's choice number one. Choice number two is you go to court and you're spending tens of thousands of dollars. With Gerard, it's going to be at least 100 grand that are going to come straight out of your butthole. You're going to get cornholed whether you win or not. And you already have an opinion of a lawyer that's telling you that if he was taking this case on, there's no way you would get hit on this one, all right? So that would be your choice if you're Carl Mudahar, right? Which one would you choose? Would you spend the hundred grand for YouTube shits and giggles? Well, if you make a million bucks, great, right? But if you value money, <laughs> you might not want to do that, right? Even if they would be in the right. The smart thing is not to blow your money regardless of, of what's going on. But if they want to be heroes, hey, I'm right here for it, man. I am here for it. I'm here for all. <laughs> all the shit show that they can produce and let me tell you let me tell you i think right to this day i think no matter what he's saying privately if he's going to lose his youtube career if he's going to lose his patreons if he's got to lay people off what has he got to lose right at least 25 percent of the people are still going to stick with him he's still going to be able to make some money and if he can shut these two guys up i think he will what do you guys think well guys i wish you a happy new year here from the Philippines. I'm gonna be traveling tomorrow to a couple of different places, so there might not be a video, maybe a couple of shorts, a couple of memes. But I'm gonna keep following up on this. I'll keep following up on the on the stories. I wanted to do a Billy Mitchell uh, video because he got caught up in the whole dep deposition stuff. And uh, I think Carl is, is looking at that. He commented on it, but let me tell you why that's important. When it comes to the completionist, number one, and if they were going to go to court, you know, how is he going to use what he's learned from Billy Mitchell in order to move forward with these guys? Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. Most of you listening are not subscribed, so I need you to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, so you never miss another of these episodes where a guy changing diapers, traveling through the Philippines, is just talking a lot of shit about legal stuff he has no idea about because he's not a lawyer, he's not a professional, but he's here to have a good time with you. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.